Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. I hope you'll stop by my blog at KathleenStamps.com where there you can get all of the information that I'm using, all of the supplies, all of the measurements for the paper that I'm using on today's card. I think this is going to be just a really great masculine card. I think it can be used for any time of year, but I love the tone on tone look and I just think it's just really an attractive masculine card. And again, there'll be a link right below this post that you can go directly to my blog where you will be able to find all the measurements I use to cut and all of the supplies that I'm using. Now the two stamp sets that I'm using for today's card, I'm using the uh, symbols from the Artistically Asian and I'm using the Waterfront stamp set. Love this stamp set. This absolutely needs to be on your purchase list. It is so versatile. Really, really love it. So let's get started. So we're going to take a piece of the basic black cardstock and that's what we'll be using for our card base. And then I'm going to take a piece of the Whisper White cardstock and using the basic gray ink. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the inside. And you'll see I've mounted both stamps on the one block. I think that makes it really nice because then you can get them all lined up prior to stamping and make sure that they get stamped correctly so that you're happy with the overall image. So we'll go ahead and stamp that down. Okay. <clears throat> so our next step is we're going to be using the Smoky Slate ink and we'll be stamping our layout or our um, all, all the stamps on the front of the card. And what I did is I tapped everything off, which means you ink it and stamp it off and then stamp it on your paper. I just really liked a lighter overall image of the mountains and so that was the reason that I decided to tap everything off. So we'll just tap it off and then we'll stamp it on the card. And then I'm just moving across the card, oh, kind of at the same level. And then this one I'm going to bring down just a little bit. And for the last mountain, we're going to be stamping that right here. Right. So the last thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp our trees. And I'm just going to put those down in this corner. And you'll notice I did not tap those off because I wanted them a little darker than the mountains. So that that makes them appear that they're more in the foreground and the mountains are more in the background. So that's all there is to that stamping. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our basic gray and we'll stamp our symbols. We just want to make sure that that cardstock is straight. And there we go. All right, so we're all done. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the card together. Use our snail adhesive to mount the inside. And then the first piece that we'll go ahead and stamp will be our basic gray card stock. And 
and we just want to make sure that it's nicely centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out holes along the bottom of the punch or excuse me along the bottom of the paper and I'm going to do this at the top also so that we have uh, we have holes punched equally across the page all right so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down it's really easy to glue this surface of this paper where it's very difficult to glue onto the top so this is the little trick that I use so I'm going to take some of my Tombow multi adhesive and we're going to put this on the back All right. And so then we want to do is to make sure this is nicely centered. And one of the reasons that I'm using the Tombow is because it gives me a little bit of slip time, which means I can move the cardstock around a little bit until it's nicely set. Now, ordinarily gluing this cardstock to the glimmer paper can be quite difficult because it's such a bumpy surface. So this is my trick. I punch the holes out and then I put dimensionals in the openings that I've created. Now you've seen me do this trick before where I lift up the covers to the dimensionals with my pokey tool and it works so nicely. It makes it so much easier than trying to go through and pick them all up by hand. And there they all are. And then you can see they're all gone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card and then I'm going to make sure that this is centered on here. And then it adheres perfectly. The other thing that you do not get because of our Whisper White paper is really our basic Whisper White is a very thin cardstock. And sometimes you can see the Tombow liquid glue through the cardstock and it's just not really an attractive look, at least I don't think so. So using that little trick works great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this card and I do hope that you'll stop by my blog at KathleenStamps.com and check out all the instructions and the supplies that I used. See you later. Bye.